so how to get a job offer after a career break i mean this is really important question that i have got daily almost daily from lots of sometimes you can say or mothers who have basically a career gaps afterwards some of the time due to motherhood or something right and sometimes i have seen people even normal guys like me who had some kind of a career break because they wanted to do or pursue some of the preparation for some of the other exams right or probably due to some medical experiences they had some career gap right so in this video i'm basically discuss about how i was able to help couple of uh, not many but couple of uh, candidates of my students basically uh, and what are the steps that they have taken up right how they were able to switch to or even after a career gap of 6 years 5 years 2 years 1 year how they were able to basically uh, get a new job especially related to the software testing point of view so i'm just taking talking about the uh, testing point of view but this is true for everywhere if, even in in developer even in devops so everywhere it is uh, uh, i mean acceptable okay so what are the things that i'm basically talking about all right so let's get started and let's discuss about the uh, what you need to do okay first of all i think the in most important thing is uh, let me pull up my marker also is check where you are right now check at what stage right now you are okay so what exactly it means pramod it basically means exactly where you stand in your career right what exactly the career gap that you have so let me let me give you a very straight forward answer to this if you have 0 to 1 year of career gap then trust me it's very easy to get back to it 1 to 2 years it's easy still easy after 2 years it is it is really difficult it's not difficult it's difficult okay and after 5 years almost like 6 years that i have mentioned right it's very difficult to get into back into the it jobs or even in the non it jobs but it's possible i have seen it and i have seen i have worked with a couple of uh, couple of my friends uh, who are now my friends and uh, they are very much senior for me but they had a career gaps they had to uh, so what are the steps they have taken right and let's discuss about it okay the first important thing is check what where you are lacking okay what exactly the skills that you need so you need to pay attention to your missing skills what are the tools that you don't know and is it like you are out of practice consider right now you are a qa uh, right now you have worked for a qa for almost 4 years and you had a 1 year of gap so due to some of the reason okay so what you can do is you need to figure out are you basically uh, you know about the manual testing concept or probably you were learning about the automation at the time so make sure prepare a list of tools which are necessary or can help you to switch or get a new job okay for example if you have if you have worked with selenium you can go you can basically add api testing postman or assured also to your resume or if you have if you don't have a skill set related to etl testing you can have it right for example if you worked on a react related frameworks what are the latest right now working like vue or something you can have those skills so make sure prepare a mindset that okay you need to learn certain kind of a skills this is true now you need to basically put out a time duration time duration is really important uh, you can have a two two month preparation three month preparation or six month preparation up i mean more than six month i don't think it's for it's uh, very fruitful for you okay what i have seen is startups are easy to join as compared to the mncs so uh, what exactly it means promote is uh, it basically means that startup generally don't care about your career go career gaps so if you know the skills if you know automation if you know selenium if you know java if you know devops related things right definitely try to switch to the startup first this is my first point of view and don't be shy let me give you some of the example okay see this one example guys pay attention to this this was a very recent example see what you need to do here you need to basically see uh, this girl has basically said that i have a gap of almost 5 years due to motherhood right now i want to join restart my career and they have mentioned i want i will be a admitted joiner as a hashtag manual tester qma and now see the magic of the linkedin you will see that hrs are contacting right see here this is a live example guys so i am telling you this works people will if you share right that i need a job on a linkedin or if you share that okay uh, if you are not afraid about your career right definitely you going to 
join so don't be shy and let them know this is the second example in tiger tiger, tiger technologies i think it's right tiger analytics she was able to get back to the job right and here if you see there is there is a this person who is basically a test lead who is hiring if you have a career gap as a woman definitely join us i mean don't be shy guys i mean why you guys are shy and not basically posting the things on the linkedin the linkedin is i think i found it's very easy to find a job right now even with the career gap okay and now let's talk about the important elephant in the room which is uh, uh, i mean do we need to include any kind of a fake fake experience or not if we have a career career uh, if, we, if we want to switch basically right and i would suggest uh, i would encourage to please don't do it because it will impact if you have a gap it's okay and it's totally fine and just tell the hr that i have a gap due to this reason and they will take care of it i mean this this works very well i have seen people working with right and i think freelancing can cover it uh, so if you go here right you you can go to upwork.com right there are a couple of folks who are already doing freelancing so in your free time you can have some freelancing work and then just add a layer or to it in your resume that i have worked on a upwork or something okay those thing definitely will help you another thing is get a certification guys and network with the people connect with the hrs share on the linkedin get a certification for example for testing you can get istqb certification or selenium related certifications and nothing is tough guys this is my uh, if you are taking every, everything uh, anything from this just take it as nothing is tough i have seen people switching from 3 year 2 year 6 years and 1 year also gap so don't worry guys and uh, especially for the people who have a career gap uh, trust me if you need more help if you still need guidance and all you can definitely contact me right i have helped a couple of folks i will try to help as many as you can if you want to increase your uh, expertise in automation or adding your skills i would suggest you to go through the sd blueprint you can go to this link which is learn.testingacademy.com/p.sd blueprint or search sd blueprint uh, on a google you will find it and here we have a proper road map how you can basically learn new important skills related to automation like ab testing rest assured selenium jenkins interview preparation and live projects we have done it it's a very important uh, video series where we have covered most of the things related to how you can enhance your skills uh, even you can show the projects in your add you can add those projects that we have created into your resume and tell them that okay we have worked on it so those will help you also to get this uh, get a job after this career break all right thanks for watching this video i hope this helps and if you need more details if you need part 2 of this video just type part 2 and i'll be happy to help you guys all right thanks a lot for watching bye